well, that was so much fun. The computer or something crashed, and so here we are. Last problem, though, so let's write this down. 8x squared plus 216x to the fifth. So the first thing we need to do on this is look and see if we have a GCF because we actually don't know how to deal with um, x to the fifth, correct? The highest we've gone is x to the third. So if we look here, we look at our x's, it looks like they both have an x squared in common. Um, and let's go ahead and just divide 216 by 8. Does that divide nicely? Sure does. So our GCF is going to be 8x squared. Now I want you to go ahead and pause this and try to divide out 8x squared and see what you get. Well, hopefully if you divided out 8x squared correctly, you got 1 and 27x to the third. So remember, the next thing we have to do is uncube them or cube root them. So what is the cube root of 1? Well, that's 1. So our f is going to be 1. And what is the cube root of 27x to the third? Well, grab your calculator. The cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of x to the third is just x. So everywhere we had an L, we're going to have a 3x. So this one will kind of look a little backwards. So our GCF comes down, 8x squared. And then remember, we do f and L. So 1 and 3x. And then in the next set of parentheses, we do two for each term. So the first one will be f times f, so 1 times 1. The next one will be 1 times 3x, because we only use it three times. And then the last one will be 3x times 3x. Then remember for our signs, we use SOAP, same, opposite, always positive. So our problem had a plus, so we will add for the same, we will subtract for opposite, and this last one will be always positive. Then we do our multiplication, 8x squared, our parentheses, 1 plus 3x doesn't have any multiplication to do. But in my next thing, I sure do have some multiplication to do. So as you see, the first thing is going to be 1 times 1. Hopefully we know that that is 1. Our opposite sign makes it subtraction. And then next it's going to be 1 times 3x, which gives me 3x. And then our always positive sign. And last but not least, we have 3x times 3x. So 3 times 3 is 9 x times x is x squared. We wrap up that set of parentheses, and that is all we can do. So that one is finished. Sorry about the two videos. Good luck on your assignment.